Thank you, Salim and the fans. They don't want to go home, and we're not going to send them away. They want more. We're about to give it to them here. It's Thayer's Men's Ski Knuckle Hut, the last medal event of the night out here. Day two of three for competition here. X Games Aspen 2024. What's up, everybody? I'm Jimmy Coleman. That's Tom Wallace. And well, Tom, this thing's only been contested. Listen to that. This thing's only been contested five times prior at the X Games. We've had five different winners. Yeah. Let's talk about two of them. Last year's winner, Jesper Shatter. Jesper Shatter, so incredible. He's so technical, goes so big, and that's the beauty of it. He's tech. He's not doing that one butter move, but he's doing the spins, the combinations, the double flips. He is a showstopper, Jesper Shatter. Let's also talk about Colby Stevenson. He got the win the first year this was ever held here at X Games. Yeah, and he is styly, goes, spins different directions, does different tricks, also hasn't had that result he wanted in big air or slope style. He's going huge tonight in Thayer's men's knuckle hook. I can't wait to see all this action. I know all of them want to see it. I I hope all of you want to see it too. All five of our prior winners are here in the lineup tonight. Before we get to it, let's check in with the third member of our crew, Kristen B. Jimmy, do not sleep on Alex Hall in this event. He has already won two silver medals here in Aspen, and he could repeat the record he set last year as the only male skier to ever medal in three different disciplines at one X Games event. And guys, that is so exciting, but lucky for him, if he ends up on the podium here tonight in Knuckle Huck, he could set that record again, and that's a goal of his. And guys, this, this event falls right into his wheelhouse. Alex Hall told me he skis better in a relaxed setting, and that's exactly what Knuckle Huck is. It is a 20-minute jam sesh. And Alex Hall also told me, guys, he wants to do some quote-unquote weird things out there. We'll see how that creativity translates to this course. Well, this is the proper place to do it. If you've got weird things in your repertoire, this is the place to do it. It's all about expression. It's all about creativity. Activity. So eight skiers in the lineup out here tonight. As we mentioned before, it's only been contested five times prior. All five of our winners are here. Talk about the other three. Yeah, we got more people in the field. Cody LaPron coming in through the Slush Cup Finals. You host us, the morning, Daniel Bacher. All could battle for that medal as well. This field is stacked, and it's going to be fun, playful, flavorful. And we are going to see some tricks. I can't actually tell you what the name is because they're being invented and played out right now in real time. So we're just being told now that Daniel Bacher has dropped out. He got a bigger bronze on Friday night, so he is not going to be in the lineup. So now we are down to seven here, as it appears in the jam session. And look at these fans want more. We're about to give it to them. They, they've been out here all day. We've had a jam-packed Saturday schedule, but it's nonstop here going into the late hours of the night in Aspen for one of the funnest events you can watch. So this one, it's a jam session. You're gonna, see, you won't see scores in this one. You're gonna see a live ranking. You'll just see the names sliding around as the judges deem how they feel they should be placed as we move through this. And you don't win a medal, you win gold knuckles for this one. That's what it's about. I mean, it is fun, and the name of the game is fun out here tonight. And it's less serious than maybe the big air contest you tune into. You're gonna see big spins, big tricks, technicality, but it's not high stress. Everybody being coached through the process, doing some 1980 we're not going to be tabulating it and tabulating scores like that it's going to be all about who is having the most fun and doing the most creative things across this knuckle that could be featured in any park around the world yeah, talk, take, talking about our prior winners, 2020 was the first time it was contested here. Colby Stevenson walked out, Tom Knox there. 2020 in Norway, it was Alex Hall. Then in 2021 here in Aspen, Henrik Harlow. Quinn Wolferman got uh, the top nod there in 2022. And then, of course, Jesper Schauder, his first ever piece of X Games hardware came out here just last year. Yeah, Jesper Shatter, always so creative, so innovative. We saw him on the slopes out course or earlier this morning doing some insane tricks, pretzel reverting in the air, some super creative rails. It's just going to be so fun. Can't say it enough. Count how many times out there I say fun tonight because that this is really about it. 
So swagging rights, if you want to get your official X Games merch and you're not out here on the mountain this weekend, all you have to do, go to shop.xgames.com and you too can get your official gear. Seeing a lot of the fans out here tonight sporting the gear here on the mountain. And uh, again, nobody wants to go home. I mean, it's been a packed house. It's been steady out here all day long. Okay, right. so it looks like we're about to get underway. There we go, a little bit of a course hold here. And we're going to get Dennis Renalter in here. It looks like they're going to let the alternate go into this event. And Dennis going massive. First run, double cork. So that's what the hold was. Okay. With... with Daniel Bogger dropping out. We thought we were going to go with seven, and they said, no, we're going to let Dennis Renalter in. So a late last-minute entry, and here we go. Okay. And he, he started it off with a bang with the double cork. Nose butter going for it. I mean, this is this is not going like we're getting it going. The first one's a huge trick. So the judges are looking. How about that? You're standing up there. You were an alternate. You're like, well, I guess I'm watching this unfold. And all of a sudden, right before the time starts, you're like, oh, wait, I'm in. Hold, hold on. Overall impression what the judges are looking for out here tonight. But hopefully it gets you the gold knuckles as we take our first look here at Cody LaPlante in his second X Games appearance. Oh, another guy. That's that same trick pretty much that we saw from Dennis on the other side of the lip as we just get absolutely doused by snow here at the end. Watch those skis though. Oh, you can really see it in that Samsung flow motion. He looks for the nose butter, but the one ski like catches up on that. It's just so impressive that he's able to get that rotation still around with that tip catch. Like it was a blatant tip catch on that knuckle. So another X Games rookie in the lineup here out of Finland. This is Juho Seistamonen. Defying physics with mind-bending tricks. I love that tagline on his headshot. Oh, good Lord. That was it all out Superman front diving Misty 5. I mean, he's laid out. Watch this as we take another look. Carves off the right side of the skis. He's diving forward, both hands on the snow. I mean, it looks made up. He is redefining physics out here. Uh, that left ski just came off right on the impact right there. And for those of you just tuning in, or maybe you're new to X Games, you're like, what is knuckle hug? You see, they're just going off the roller of the last landing of the slope style course. You don't have a lip. There's nothing to give you that pop, that trajectory. It's just sheer will and absolutely sending yourself into these rotations. And of course, style, the name of the game. And I think a lot of people forget the knuckle, yeah, you're you can do tricks off of it, but the way these athletes treat it, they're skipping the normal landing of the big air and going so far down that the impact on this landing can be so high. Look at Quinn Wolferman. Listen to the oh. reaction from that crowd. He got his gold in this event in 2022. Quinn off the noses. Nolly Bio 1080. I got to say, that trick was almost as minty as that outfit. Cody LaPlante was in that top spot. Now Quinn Wolferman finds himself in the top spot. So just to recap, no scores. It's just going to be a live ranking. We're just under 17 minutes. But watch out. Here comes the style cat. It's Henrik Harlow. Your favorite skier's favorite skier. Switch tail better butter into the bio nine. Are you going for the Ferris height meter? Yes, you yeah, are. I gotta hit that. Over. I gotta hit that. That it, was awesome. It got dusted with a little bit of snow a couple runs ago. Let's take another look at Henrik Harlow. Look at the steez going off the knuckle. He is so fun, so flavorful. Got the new sunnies on, and the way he pops off the tail from the beginning of that knuckle, the grab, diving forward. Huge trick, and just signature Henrik style. If you're wondering, some poles, some no poles. There's a big debate in the 
outside world and in the ski world. Henrik, an innovator in that no pole style and making it look good. Well, here is what's at stake out here tonight. A 20 minute jam session. And as we said before, it's basically, it's an overall impression, but I mean, with the criteria down there at the bottom, I mean, you, know, you just kind of make it up as you go along. I mean, talk about some of the specifics we've seen pointed out here in the past. Yeah, I mean, they're looking for innovation and creativity, so it's using the whole ski, not just doing a normal jump. Buttering, pressing, tapping, dragging your hand, rotating in unique and interesting ways, and just innovating with the full purpose of what the skis can do. Our first look at Alex Hall, who's had a big weekend out here already. He's got two silver medals this weekend, one coming last night in Big Air, and the other one this afternoon in slope style. Yeah, so successful already, and I think that takes the pressure off. This this contest is always about just enjoying yourself with all these friends at the top, but also pretty easy to enjoy yourself after a weekend in Aspen where you got two medals. Looking for that tap on the knuckle there. You see him poke those legs out. By the way, Henrik took the top spot after that first run. Alex Hall, he slides into that number four position. So the recipient of the gold knuckles in 2021, Mr. Henrik Harlow, in the top spot as of right now. But here comes Park City, Utah's Colby Stevenson. Okay. To the of the landing. Okay. Wow. I mean, there is no landing left. That was very big. He just sprayed everybody. He's apologizing to everybody. He just uh, gave that whole side of the corral a giant snow shower. The reason he had to slam on the brakes is because <laughs> he basically landed in the crowd down here on this nose butter and hand drag. Watch that left, right hand, I mean, gets that drag, reaches down, gets the safety grab. He's not high off the ground when he's over the knuckle, but then he just drops away from him. I mean... That's going to challenge Henrik for the top spot. With no lip to go down. He went past that last die line, and he will overtake Henrik. You called it, Tom. That puts Colby Stevenson in the top spot for now. Still lots of time left on the jam session clock. This is Sweeten's yes for Shatter. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, okay. you better get on that Thayer's hype meter right now. I have to see that in slow-mo. I mean, Jesper Shatter going in. We've seen him do this somewhat as a switch double backflip before where he pops, catches the tips, and this one he bounces. This is a combination move. This would score well in Tony Hawk Pro Skater. He combinated, combi combined that switch backflip right into the next switch backflip. And look, the hands are never leaving the side. Feet are together. I mean, that's just... Jesper, in a nutshell. Did you see where he landed that right on the roller? Oh, and you're defending. Oh, winner from last year finds himself in the top spot. Look at that. Jesper Shatter, Colby Stevenson, and Henrik Harlow. You're one, two, three. With theirs, go deep or go home. Snow mushroom and hyaluronic acid. One, milky cleanser. Two, cushion with milky toner. Three, deeply hydrate with new Soak It Up liquid moisturizer. It hydrates for 80 hours. Thayer's. So we're back up to the top of the starter here. Dennis Renalter got in literally at the very last minute as an alternate. Look at this send. There we go. That's Dennis's style. Fell on that first run. The goggles flew off. But this run absolutely sticks it we've seen a lot of this trick this trick was invented popularized and brought to the scene by henrik carlo and look at the noses there then reaches down for the safety grab he's hovering there over that knuckle i mean that's very proper how early and how pressed out on the noses he was he was down there in seventh and oh look at dennis jumps up into the podium there into that number three position and here comes Truckee, California's Cody LaPlante. Oh, smooth there. Cody LaPlante with that switch hit. So just steezing it out. And I might tell you guys when we're watching that we're looking for the grab or you're looking for the execution and all these critical things that come down in a more serious slope style comp, but it's not in the cards tonight. He'll slide to that number five position. Let's check in with Kristen.
Dennis, describe the energy out here as you're competing. Yeah, it's so nice. Like, look at all the people, the homies. It's such a good vibe, and it really gets you hyped to, like, throw your tricks down and having a really good time. Dennis, congratulations. Let's see you up that score next run. Hyped is an understatement. I mean, you think you're going to watch this thing. You don't get it off the alternate list, and all of a sudden they're telling They hold the confidence. They say, wait, yes, you are in. And now he finds himself on the huge stage out here tonight. At X Games. Yeah, Dennis's hype meter on the Thayer's hype meter is all the way past awesome, all the way up to maximum. Yuho Seistamonen putting one down here in round number two. Pre-run, he was down there in that number eight spot. Again, another one of our X Games rookies out here tonight. Look at this, where he just drags those tails for so long. How does he get into that front flip? I was just about to ask you, how do you do that from dragging the tails to launching yourself forward like that? He honestly is defying what I thought was physically possible. There's nothing to set off of. Oh, He's hovering. He jumps up. The Finn now finds himself in that number two position. Wolfie is the dark horse winner here. The weigh-in on the chat there from that fan. Okay, Quinn Wolverman smooth the butter into that one. He came, I talked to him right before this event started and he's here to get a medal. He wants it. He's got all these cool tricks. He's got experience. He's been on top of the podium here in Knuckle Huck before. So he's, he knows what it takes and it's a variety of tricks, different creative elements and just kind of just having fun and doing great all night long. It's going to come down to who just does that best variety. Yeah, that'll put him up in that number four spot as we keep moving along with Henrik Harlow. Oh! That was such a long butter. That he, is he the butter. Right there, butter. I mean, he <laughs> is the butter guy. He was on the tips of the skis so long. It is so, takes so much strength. You see him start it right there and he's holding it this whole time. Look at all that time and then gets the hand. You can see the hand there. Both hands down, lands a bit on the hips, but the ability for him to drag across that whole knuckle, it's a 360. That's not an incredibly challenging trick for these athletes, but it's the way that you do it that makes it one of a kind, Henrik Carlo style. Alex Hall in for tip number two, finds himself down at the bottom of the pack right now, sitting in that number eight position. Okay, that's a trick that we saw Alex basically doing the big air as well. He did a zero spin in the big air for his style jump. This one, adding that extra little bit of spice to the sauce, dragging the hand across the knuckle, gets a little corked out, gets the grab. I mean, his zero spin in big air was flawless. Well, Colby Stevenson do up next. He loves being outdoors. Let's hear more about what he gets into when he's not on his skis in this athlete profile. From a young age, my dad was just like stoked on getting me out doing a bunch of different things and, and the crossover for every sport really works well going back to ski. It's pretty funny how like back to back all my activities are. We usually like just have so many activities in the day planned that there's not much time to like sit around. Pretty much anything that has to do with action sports and being outside, I'm out there doing it. My favorite part about sled axis skiing is just being out on your own and having so much terrain at your yeah. fingertips. You know, you can literally look like three peaks past and be like, all right, let's go over there. And you know, within 10 minutes, you're all the way across the valleys. It's really fun and challenging and you actually get to find different lines that you wouldn't find on skis because you're going uphill. I'm Colby Stevenson. I'm a professional free skier and I'm from Park City, Utah. There you go, a little look into the life of Colby Stevenson. Right now here at Thayer's Men's Ski Knuckle Hockey, he sits in that number three position. 
That was a little look into my entire season last year filming with Colby. He is a maniac on the sled, on the skis, and absolutely astounded all of us in the backcountry, just like he's doing out here in Aspen tonight on the knuckle. We're not even at the halfway point okay. yet. It's a 20-minute jam session. We've still got over 10 minutes left to go. We're just now at the 11-minute mark. Switch right side. So spinning both directions, reaches, gets that grab, spins it around there at the end. In the slope style, Ben, you want to see left and right. In the knuckle hook, it's up to you. But the way he's doing it, it's extra variety, extra credit, if you want to say. Judges got to be loving that. See if this bumps up the place. Oh, and he goes back to the top of the leaderboard. So he overtakes Jesper Shatter. Okay. Wow. Nicely done there by Colby Stevenson. Speaking of Jesper, we're going to take a look at his last run and what it looks like from the athlete's point of view here, courtesy of GoPro. I mean, it's just, yeah. the rotation right there, I mean, that's mind-bending. I mean, he's looking over his shoulder. You can see he's going backwards in the GoPro point of view. You can see that he's looking. Then he looks totally uphill, totally away from where he's going, lands for, I don't know, a millisecond, <laughs> and he's back upside down again. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so fast. Oh, yes, Bert, dragging the hand. Okay. They're going to run out of real estate on this landing. They are going so far down. The impact is so big down there. But if you want to get the, a big rotation after the hand drag all the way across the landing, this landing is steep. It's 38 degrees or something so that it can be soft for the big air and for the slope style. But as they fly that fast over the knuckle, look at how high he is and how far he drops out of that. He's got to hit the leg press for the leg strength to be able to stomp that one. And again, to, I mean, to do that without a lip and to just propel yourself around. And last year's winner finds himself back in the top spot. He answers back, overtakes Colby Stevenson. So it's Jesper, Colby, and Juho Seistamon in your one, two, three. We're at the halfway mark. Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes left to go. We're going to take a quick break. And we come back, we'll have the second half of Thayer's men's ski knuckle hook. We're not going anywhere. This is being brought to you commercial free out here tonight. So we are going to keep the party rolling here, Tom, for the final 10 minutes of Bayer's Men's Ski Knuckle Hawk. That's right. Okay. You heard it. Now you can read it. It's I, commercial free. I thought I had a second to catch my breath and try to comprehend the physics, the five tricks, but I guess I'm not going anywhere. Just when you thought you were going to get a minute to think for a second, no. We're right back into it. Commercial free. We go back up to the top of the order. Dennis Renalter. Oh, Dennis, keeping it smooth and stylish. Major points on that one. The cork 540 looking for the tail grab. So we saw that the variety of tricks so far for Dennis. We saw the nose butter double cork 1260. That sounds like so much. It's three and a half full rotations. This time, one and a half full rotations. But at the same point, that's this event. It's not always about the biggest spins. It's also how the spins look. So we'll take another look here at Cody LaPlante as we're working our way towards eight and a half minutes left to go here. Cody coming in switch here. What? Whoa. How do you launch into that coming in switch off of that knuckle? I don't know how. This is not your typical jump. I've seen him do this trick on like a normal park jump, but it is not a normal park jump. It's flat. He's hovering over that knuckle. It's basically that switch 540 start that he pretzels back to three. It's a switch Lincoln loop with the tail grab. It's corked out. It's stalled. It's so difficult. He was down at seventh. Oh, Cody puts himself in a podium, podium contention there. He jumps up into third, so he's going to overtake Juho Seistamonen, who is on course right now, by the way, with a chance to answer back. Okay. Uh, I'm starting to on. just lose my mind watching Juho ski. He honestly is just so impressive, so fun. 
and just fascinating to watch. I mean, that diving forward off that one and doing the double misty, I mean, it's just, the just crazy. Let's see what happens here. Oh, just the ski, ski pops off. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Just barely going down. Yeah, it highlighted that he was staying at four. So looking at the replay there, you see that the left ski came off. Quinn Wolferman, previous winner of this event, he got his gold in 2022. He now finds himself in that number five spot. Aspen 2024, it's his fifth X Games appearance. All of those appearances have been in this knucklehuck event. Okay, Quinn also bringing a double variation in here. He's gonna do some smooth, smaller rotations, but he's also gonna push that limit, some technicality of what you can do off a knuckle. Everybody behind us just went mental right now. Did you hear that? Yeah, I mean, I'd be going mental too if I had just watched that with my own eyes, which I guess I should be going mental. I should have hit the Thayer's height meter because that had me losing my mind. I, it's a lot to process at this speed right now, but my goodness, I mean, everybody around us just erupted on that one. Again, he was in that number five spot. And okay. he's back up on top. Faded Rooster says so minty, and the judges obviously think so too. <laughs> really is. I mean, so fun. Quinn came to play tonight. He's clearly going for it. That's new and different tricks from the year we saw him win this event before. So... Thayer's Men's Ski Knucklehawk being brought to you commercial free out here tonight. We're in the bottom half of the jam session here. Quinn Wolferman has just taken the top spot. Here comes Henrik Harlow. Oh, switch to the last die line right there. The Style Master puts another one down. I mean, barking as always, Henrik Harlow. Just going for it. I mean, did you see that? Did you see that comment? Butter by BTS should be playing while Henrik is skating. Oh, it should be. It should be. <laughs> Just having so much fun. He's smiling. Switch tail butter double. He's slapping it up. He's right here. I'm going to try to get a high five, but I can't. Oh, that was one of the best ways of I the got night. One. Oh, my goodness. I got one. He just jumped into that number two spot. It's Wolferman, Harlow, and Shatter. Here comes Alex Hall. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. There's no names for the stuff we're seeing out here. It's just mayhem by these athletes. Alex Hall, Henrik Carlo. I mean, the crew just keeps going nonstop. Look at the way he pops that one. He's upside down looking at the landing. It's so crazy. Stalled out, a little extension of the body. Everything is just so unique. So he'll, Alex Hall jumped up two spots there. He was an eight, so that'll put him in that number six position. Did someone just hand you the suitcase with the knuckle? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, just saw? I got the knuckle here. I, I think I'm going to get to hand this thing out at some point here soon. Colby Stevenson's back in. He currently sits in that fourth place position. Okay, he's double corking as well. Everybody's just going for it here tonight. You can hear him exclaim. He's stoked on this one. Everybody's pushing the limits. Comes in switch. The switch three butters around. Then looks for that opposite safety grab. Going just crazy. The hype is real from the kid. Just got a knuckle from Colby himself, who said that one was nuts. So Colby Stevenson, Quinn Wolferman, Henrik Harlow, now your top three. Your winner from last year, Jesper Shatter, sits in that number four position. I don't know what to expect anymore from Jesper either. I mean, he's so fun to watch in the knuckle. And if you haven't seen his rail edits and videos, he's just the most creative technical skier. Go watch one of his GoPro videos, his unrealistic videos, him side it, sliding a loop box. There's nothing Jesper can't do on a pair of skis, including this one. Presses the tails out, then pops off into that forward Barani rotation. Spots the landing. Just defying it, the way he spins. 
So he's going to jump back into that number okay. three position. So Henrik now on the outside looking in. Still have two and a half minutes left to go. But before we get to this next round, what well, could be the final round, let's take a look at some of the sights and sounds of the weekend out here at Aspen Snowmass, courtesy of our friends over at Samsung. <laughs> much that has happened in the last two days out here. We still have one more set of hardware to hand out tonight, and then we get to do it all over again tomorrow for a third and final day of competition out here before we say goodbye from Aspen. This will be the last round of runs, Tom. This is what I'm being told. This is the final round. You have the hardware here at our broadcast desk. Here we go. Dennis Rinaldo with his last attempt. Oh, Dennis. So smooth. Austrian's fi Austria's finest out here, keeping it easy. Everything from the 12 down to these fives, tapping that knuckle. And again, to tell that story, I mean, just standing up there, not thinking at all that there's a chance that he's yeah. in this. And at the last minute, you have Daniel Bacher dropping out, and then he finds himself in the event. Welcome to the X Games, Dennis Renalter. Cody LaPlante. Sits in that number five spot, heading into this last hit switch. Oh, oh. man, Cody LaPlante tapping the knuckle, then dipping into that double cork. That would have been an insane trick. Cody got into this event through the slush cup game that X Games put on here in Aspen and won this spot. and. Came out to prove what he was worth and did just that. That would have been an NBD, never been done trick if he would have put that one down. So time winding down once the clock expires. We'll finish out the run order here. Last look here at Finland's Yuho Sice to Monin. Okay, Yuho. <laughs> Fell on that one earlier. The ski came off, but this time gets it. So far forward on it. We're going X Games mode, why not? This is what it's all about. Dives forward, there's all the way up. Absolutely unreal on the hype meter. Look at the bottom line. Those lines are there to help them spot the landing, Jimmy. And when you skip all the lines, how are you gonna spot where you're coming down? I mean, he blew way past that last die line right there. So he's down in eighth prior to that run. It'll move him up two spots right there. Puts him at that number six spot, but well done out here tonight by another X Games rookie. Quinn Wolferman got the win here in 2022. He's looking at a potential silver as of right now. You have the gold knuckle in your hand. I got the knuckles You're on my knuckle. It warm. I'm keeping it warm for the winner of the knuckle huck event. I'm getting ready to run out there when we're awarded the final result. And Quinn Wolferman, I mean, sitting in second right now, and he's got other stuff. He's been going big already, but one more massive trick to bump him up ahead of Colby Stevenson. Can he do it? Okay, Quinn Wolferman. We saw him more on the bio rotation or the misty rotation. This one is flat. You can hear him. I heard him say, that's how you end the contest. Watch this switch butter. And he's almost flat rotation, maybe court, just unique rotation all its own. Looks like the way Henrik Carlo spins and just skiing away like he never left the ground. We call that the after bang. It's gonna stay in second though. So, give the shout out to Montana right there. So yeah, you call it staying in second there. So here comes Henrik Harlow on the outside, looking in. And that's Henrik's signature, invented that trick. The first person to do the nose butter double cork of the knuckle. We're talking 10 plus years ago, he invented that and he's still out here competing in X Games with the best of the best, bringing the style, the flavor, and of course, more dog barks than you've ever heard.
So he's eyeing up the monitor. Oh, and okay. Hendrick jumps back in. In the second. Into the number two position. So now. Boom, 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 boom. West side punch. So now it's Colby Stevenson, Henrik Harlow, and Quinn Wolferman. Jesper Shatter now finds himself sitting in that number four spot. He's going to get to ski last by virtue of being last year's winner. This is the final runs here at Thayer's Men's Ski Knucklehuck. Colby Stevenson sitting in that top spot, but this is Alex Hall for his last attempt. Oh, oh no, he can't hang on. Oh, Alex Hall, this is a signature kind of pullback that he does on so many different tricks. He goes for that hand drag in order to create the, the momentum stop to be able to bring that rotation back. That would have been insane if he was able to put that one down, but love to see Alex Hall always pushing the limits. Skied and slope style this morning, walked away with a medal, comes back out here at night, hours and hours later, and just sending it as always. Yeah, that's two medals for him on the weekend. I mentioned they got a bigger silver last night, followed it up with the slope style silver today, so he's had a great weekend out here in Aspen. Colby Stevenson in the top spot, your 2020 winner, looking at a, his second potential gold here. Okay, Colby <laughs> Stevenson, you have got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me with that. That was outrageous. Nose butter wraps up. That's all the way over. I can't stop hitting the Thayer's hype meter. Unreal. Hits the nose butter, wraps up, gets into the seventh, then all the way over to 14. This is incredible. I've never seen that. Just the way Colby's doing it. I mean, he's sitting in first place. If that doesn't help him absolutely claim these golden knuckles, I don't know what will. But that being said, Jesper Shatter definitely has something to say about that. Yeah. He's a gold medalist or gold knuckle winner from last year. Jesper Shatter, he's last to go. So it's Stevenson, Harlow, Wolferman. One thing's for sure, we're definitely going to have our first repeat winner in the history of men's ski knucklehuck out here at the X Games. The question is now, which one of them is going to be? Jesper, not one to be counted out, though. He's also going nose butter. I mean, the style. Did you see that landing? It was like he never left the ground. So it's a it's a trick we've seen a lot of tonight. Staple of the Knuckle Huck event, the nose butter double cork 12. Jesper Shatter trying to put one more big rotation down to get that top spot back or at least bump up into that top three. Jesper Shatter waiting for the judges' score now. Colby sitting in that top spot. Heard him over-talking with the athletes. That seemed to be a never-been-done. They were discussion, discussing it on that nose butter 14. So everyone waiting for the big reveal. He'll jump into the podium, but he's not going to overtake the top spot. Colby Stevenson becomes the first person to ever repeat a win here in the history of ski men's knucklehuck at the X Games. He did it the first time it was ever contested back in 2020, and he's done it again here in 2024. But how about Henrik Harlow there with the silver and last year's winner of the Golden Knuckles, Jesper Shatter, walking out with bronze here today. I mean, what an all-out battle. How many lead changes did we see out here tonight? Tom just completely bolted out of the booth right there with the gold knuckles. He couldn't wait to get out there to hand those things out, but what a way to cap off the last competition of the night out here under the lights and out of the booth and right into the winner's circle. Congratulations, Colby Stevenson, Colby, Krista, get in there. So many lead changes in that knuckle hook competition. What gave you the competitive conviction to take the top spot? Uh, I don't know, man. Everyone's so good. You just go and try to do the tricks you plan and maybe try some new stuff. Yeah, I learned a couple tricks right there. It was progression session from everyone. I, some of the craziest knuckle stuff I've seen. Colby, thank you so much and congratulations. Enjoy this moment. 
So there you go. History was made out here tonight. He'd been a contestant five times prior, five different winners. And tonight here in Fairs, men's ski knuckle hunt, Colby Stevenson claims his second ever set of gold knuckles. Absolutely amazing.